Hey, what's up guys? GM Ren and this is Skyrim once again. So what I'm getting started right now is something a little different than what I normally do. Um, I just completed a huge profile with about 330 mods in it and it's great. I love it. Um, there's a couple things I don't like about it though. One is that the game is really stable for 330 months, but it crashes like once every six hours or so. And even that I would like to improve on. The other thing that's a little less than perfect to me is that it's not Requiem. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Requiem. And that's what I'm gonna be starting today, is a new Requiem profile. Um, but the other thing that's going to be a bit different is that this is not a heavily modded game. So I normally spend a whole lot of time off camera testing the game. And I'm at a point now where if basically my testing needs to be at least like 40 hours or so of gameplay. And if I get no crashes with that much time, then I know it's pretty good. Um, but I decided that rather than doing that off camera like I usually do, I would just do it on camera and do a, do a full playthrough. Um, this is a pretty minimal Requiem. I still have other mods added to the game, but it's a very minimal Requiem. Um, just the bare necessities and once I've confirmed this game is stable, then the next version I'll have a more mod at Requiem, and I'll just keep doing playthroughs like that from now on. Because um, what I notice is I spend way too much time off camera modding the game and not enough time playing it. Um, when in actuality, I do play the game off camera to test it and try and like protect you guys from seeing all the crashes, but really it's not that bad. Um, Oh, so I just came off a of cold um, not too long ago, so my voice isn't the best, but just bear with me. Um, so what I've got right now, this character, I did the character creation already. He is a Breton. Um, that's actually kind of funny. I just realized that they gave me the Forsworn option and I'm a Breton. At least I'm pretty sure I'm a Breton. How do I check? Yeah, there we go. Yep, I'm a Breton. So, Forsworns apparently include Bretons, even though they are um, the natives of Skyrim. They are not necessarily Nords. Maybe all of them are Bretons, and I just got that wrong this whole time. Um, anyway, this guy is a Breton. His name is Balmung, inspired by um, Balmung from the first Dot Hat game. Um, he's a little bit older. Um, and I decided to start him off as a Force Worm, which is actually the way I'm going to play it. It's actually kind of a hard start. Um, they start me off, I didn't realize this, they start me off with 2,000 bounty in the reach. Like, off rip, I didn't do anything to earn this, but be a Forsworn. And that, that makes sense, because the Forsworn aren't very, um, liked by the rest of Skyrim, so it's pretty much a crime to be a Forsworn. Um... So that makes it a little bit rough because I don't know what the threshold is for being stopped on site, but I'm, I feel like 2,000 is enough. Um, so I kind of can't go to Markarth uh, unbothered, or maybe I have to do something special to purge my bounty and get into Markarth, or I just have to try it out someday. I also can't use shrines. 
and I think this is a Requiem feature. I know that with Requiem, if your crimes are too high, um, the gods will just not give you blessings. And there's a perk you can do to have that, like, forgiven. But I couldn't get anything from that shrine there. Um, the other thing about this guy is, class-wise, um, I haven't fully gone into a class yet because I'm only level 2. But I intend him to be a... Um, sort of kind of a spell sword. Uh, conjuration is going to be like one of his main skills. Alteration for mage armor and the other ma the other alteration skills. He'll also get some magic resistance out of that. Um, and some other utility. Restoration is almost essential. Um, for the most part, I'm going to be spending my magicka on summons and healing. No, no destruction this time. No anything else. I want to keep it simple. Um, and then of course, well not of course, but I'm also going to be doing uh, one-handed so that he's an actual spell blade and not just a mage. And probably going to spec into block as well because it's really hard to not block in this game. I'll have to see if wards I think war is sort of kind of function as shields like they cancel out the um, negative debuffs of not blocking I think I'll have to confirm that through playing um, so if that's the case I don't know I might still use block because rest holding up a ward just you can't really attack the same So that's where he's at skill wise. Um, I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do with him quest wise, but I do know that I want to do something new that I haven't done before. And true story, I still have not done Dragonborn. I have, like, I've only entered um, Solstheim. But I haven't really done any Dragon War quests, so uh, I think that would be a good thing to do. I have to get this guy to like level, I think it's 25 first before I can do all that, so between now and then I'll just have to figure out something else to do. For those of you that have never um, played Requiem, Requiem is a very difficult uh, game. It's a very difficult overhaul by default. Um, to be more accurate, it's very realistic. And the authors really wanted to have it be a lot of realism and also to combine in other, um, other aspects of other fantasy games like some tabletop RPGs and some other RPGs. Uh, ideas from those have been incorporated into Requiem. One thing about um, Requiem by default though is it's very very hard and I haven't tweaked down the difficulty. I don't know if I will because honestly I kind of like my games really hard. Um, so off camera when I first made this guy I was having a hard time beating even mud crabs because they're super strong. As a matter of fact, there's a couple down the river. <coughs> I can show you exactly what I mean. Um, so I'm using mage armor, and that's not what I meant to use. So I'm using a uh, mage armor and a bound sword right now. I'll do a quick save right there. 
Um, and I've got a summon. There's one. And it's kind of like, I don't want to get hit, but I'm going to take a hit so, so you can see. Now that I have um, a way to heal myself. So that was one hit from a mud crab. It took me from full life to 70 HP. And this is one of the weakest enemies in all of Skyrim. So you can see this, uh, the difficulties. It really is no joke by default. Um, I have to like kind of dance, do a lot of dancing, and try and bait the enemy to attack so I can not get hit. But that's kind of the way I like to play. Um, another fact, if you're just now tuning in for the first time, part of the reason for that is because I'm a boxer and it reminds me a lot of what uh, Ashley fighting feels like. You, like any hit, any hit from anybody that's trying to hurt you is definitely going to hurt a lot. And it doesn't matter if you're even sometimes you can block the hit and it still hurts a lot. So hopefully I don't die to this mud crab. Alright, there we go. So there is a small taste of what I'm dealing with right now. Um, the other thing is that I've decided to play Requiem as pure as I possibly can. Um, and part of doing that, this is something a lot of people dread. And I, I actually had it disabled the last time, but I'm going to leave it this time. No fast travel. No fast travel at all. Um, I'm going to stick to that this time. And it is very difficult, in a sense, but I feel like it adds a lot more to the game because a lot of, um, with, while I'm fast traveling everywhere, there's a lot of the game that I don't naturally experience. And I get to see a lot of that, um, actually just walking everywhere, so. There's a, there's a different feel to it when everything that you're doing is completely planned because you can fast travel from point to point as opposed to like now actually just getting to where you need to go is um, like something to worry about. Like you have to worry about your safety. And for whatever reason, I can't cast my healing aura, and I know I was able to cast it before. You know what it might be? Um, there could possibly be a debuff for... Yeah, everything costs a lot more. There could totally be a debuff for um, your spell casting for when you take damage and if that's the case this is going to be even harder than I thought because now I have a spell that I'm capable of casting but only when I'm at full HP and when I'm not at full HP let me check my perks Okay, I did take the perk to let me cast the spell easier. I think as my restoration improves, um, the casting cost will go down, but it still doesn't change the fact that right now, I need like a mage's hood in order to cast it. 
And I started as a Forsworn, so I literally started with Forsworn armor, and I found this in a chest and got lucky and found this in a chest. And it's a really good uh, set of robes, but it doesn't give me Magicka, which is what I need right now. So, normally, um, this isn't so bad because the game gives you many different ways to heal. Or sorry, not many, but some different ways to heal. This might heal. I didn't eat it, I took it. I think Blisterwort has Restore Health. Exhaustion is the first thing, so that didn't work. Um... Yeah, so the way that you normally heal in Requiem is you make this thing called a, a healing poultice or you use a, um, a potion, but healing poultices are, I think, overall cheaper. In vanilla Skyrim, the food heals you, but in Requiem, food recovers your stamina and magicka. It doesn't recover your health. Um, so you, f you make a healing poultice and I want to say they're made at a tanning rack. I don't see the recipe here. As a matter of fact, I might not even be able to do it without a recipe. I don't see it on the list, so... Um... Yeah, so I'd have to get a healing poultice. I can't even heal by resting or waiting because there's no um, health regen. There's no default health regen. I just had an idea though. This chest isn't owned by anybody. And Requiem gives you a method to hit chest and sometimes open them. That's not going to be one of those times. Also, I'm not even going to try to pick that lock because I know I'm not going to get it. It's like impossible picking locks without the skills in Requiem. Yep, so this is going to be rough. It's going to be really rough. Um, really all I need is a mage's hood. That's all I need. I don't even necessarily need to level up. I just need to find a mage's hood. The problem though is I'm right here. A place where I can guarantee that I'll get one is way over here at the College of Winterhold and I don't have to walk that whole distance but I do at least need to get to Solitude because Markarth is off limits I'm gonna stay away from there for now and even Solitude is kind of a journey at low health like I'm like I am but I'm gonna give it a try because I signed up for this I kind of wish I hadn't taken that hit from the mud crab though. There's also some alchemy ingredients. I know for a fact blue mountain flower, the first ingredient on blue mountain flower does heal you. So if I can find some of those, um, I might be in good shape. Let's see what juniper berries does. So I think that's weakness to, oh that's weakness to fire. Now, I've already ventured a little bit, as you can see from the map. There's a um, not-so-friendly Forsworn camp right here. 
I killed one person there and then ran away. Because that's pretty much all I can do at level 1. I can't fight any multiple enemy encounters. If I get lucky and kill one person, I just run away, save the game, and then come back later. And I have some of these um, hotkeyed. I'm not using more hotkeys please yet, but I'm going to because it's amazing. And that's one of the mods that I'm testing uh, in particular. More hotkeys please is a godsend for mage characters. And I love playing mages, so it's literally essential. Another thing I didn't comment on yet, there's no um, stamina bars, there's no like vitality or basically health magic of stamina bars, um, those have been in integrated into elements of the UI. Um, you may have already noticed that my screen got a little bit red. It's been red for a long time, so it might look normal, but the screen has a slight red um, hue to it. As you get more injured or closer to dead, the screen turns more and more red. Um, for stamina, as you get lower on stamina, the screen will get blurry. And for Magicka, um, the world will drain of color the lower you get. I think that's a mud crab I killed too. Yep. Okay, so I need to cross this river, avoid the four swarms, and then keep following the river. And I think for the most part, I don't even know why I have this um, sword out, because with how much health I have, really the only thing I need to be doing is just running from every encounter until I get to the city. Cause that's what I would do in real life, like if I was weak and I'm trying to travel alone, I wouldn't be trying to fight everything. Not only am I weak, I'm also weakened as a weak character. Those uh, pauses. Oh, okay, well, uh, there's a the guy that I pissed off earlier. I'm gonna see how far I can get. A lot of times with these encounters, I sort of kind of cheat and uh, take advantage of terrain that I know they have a hard time crossing. So like I'll jump over something like this and they might walk around it. But I don't think that's too unrealistic. I'd be trying to do stuff like that in real life. The only real difference is I think most of the time they'd be able to do stuff like that too. But either way, if I was really trying to escape, I would be taking the most difficult path to escape possible to see if they mess up. Oh shoot. Even wolves can kick my ass right now, so... But the only thing I can do is summon... A skeletal soldier. Oh god, I found an enemy too. Oh, it's a slaughterfish. And I just fell and I can't see anything right now. Come on, get me up, get me up. So I fell down one waterfall. 
I'm safe for now. This is gonna be really hard. I'm just glad this is downstream because I would have a much harder time if this was upstream. Yeah, um, the red hue of the screen gets more pronounced when I cast spells because the world drains of color. I guess that kind of doesn't make sense, but that's just how the, the two effects um, overlay on top of each other. I guess for now, I think I'm safe to try and travel the main road again. Ah, there's a blue mountain flower, and I got six of them, so this might work. This might just work. So that gives me a little bit of healing. Oh. Well, apparently Requiem doesn't like for you to heal on your own. So it's zero points for ten seconds, which doesn't do anything. Ultimately, I mean, I can make potions with it later on, but I have to get somewhere where I can make a potion. So there's a mill. This looks like uh, maybe Dragon Bridge. Sure is. So the good thing is, I have reached civilization of some sort. I might be able to find a place where I can buy something to heal me or to help me right now. I'm going to avoid the guards for now though because this might still be a part of the reach. Well, so you might have noticed from the sound, I am walking barefoot. That's an N. I just want to see what this other building is. Lumber camp. Yeah, if you wonder why I'm walking barefoot. Those fools are actually fighting. Who's fighting? I'm curious. Where's the fight? Is it this way? Seems a it is this way. Maybe. I think they finished off whoever it was. Maybe there's a dead body that I can loot and get. Oh, it's a wolf. I mean, I can still loot it. I'm not really interested in the raw meat just yet. to run my own inn someday. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry.
good day. What a display of color. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Nords don't care much for magic. The college in Winterhold is about the only place it's not looked down on. Otherwise, you could talk to the Jarl's pet wizard in solitude. All right, then.
Kajita's wares, if you have coin. I welcome you, friend. How may I serve you? Take a look. Your road lead you to warm sands. If you've come to solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricca. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here, or you'll end up like Rogvir. You're just in time to say. And I'm so mad, I just realized I had this muted the whole time. Oh shoot. Come on. Did it freeze? Okay, um... I have a feeling that that means solitude is a part of the reach, which is kinda lame. Cause I'm pretty sure they were coming after me. But yeah, I'm I'm mad that I, uh, I, I, like I said, I had a cult, and so what I've been doing is periodically hitting the mute button on my microphone so I can clear my throat, and I've realized I had it on mute for a really long time, and I said a whole lot of stuff that you just didn't hear. So that sucks, but I'm going to go in and confirm that they were targeting me, even if that means I have to die. Because I'm not sure, they might have been targeting somebody that was near me and I just left in all the chaos. If they're targeting me, then that definitely means solitude is a part of the reach and I can't be here. They coming for me? That was Rogvir. Yep, they don't like me. Definitely me that they don't like. Oh, and now these guys are gunning for me. I was not expecting that. Alright, I will load the one from before I went in there and aggroed all the guards. Now the weird thing is this guy is not attacking me. And I almost feel like 
there's a small possibility that that's a bug that I just experienced. I'll confirm it later. But the fact that that guy's not attacking me now, none of these guys are attacking me right now, um, maybe they just didn't realize that I was, okay, who are these guys? Vigilance? Why am I being attacked by Vigilance? Is this also because of my bounty? I didn't know I was signing up for this much. Okay. Alright, um... I mean, can I cast? I don't have enough magicka for that. I'll see if I can beat one of them. I don't think so. If I have any hope of fighting them, I have to get them separated. Oh wow. That made me jump out of my seat. I didn't realize. <laughs> Completely forgot that one of them had a crossbow. So yeah, this is the stuff I was talking about with um like actually traveling the world as opposed to fast traveling everywhere you get a lot more dynamic content stuff that surprises you and stuff like that I'm gonna see if maybe they don't pop up this time nope they popped up so it's kinda interesting I've never really held a bounty and I feel like this is just a part of being Forsworn. So I need to not get hit by crossbows right now. I have half a mind to steal this horse since I'm a criminal already. I don't know how long these guys are going to follow me, but I'm going to see if I can just outrun them for now. I really wish I could remember all that stuff I said while it was muted, but it was, I don't even know when the last time I wasn't muted, so um, i do a quick save here. And somebody else is shooting at me. Still don't know where they are. Tell me it's not those vigilance again. Okay, now I'm here. Huh. 
I'll quick save again. Um, and of course, they drove me deeper back towards the reach. I really need to just. As much as I hate it, what I really need to go is do is go back to Catless Farm so I can use the stables. I just need to be able to get there alive and get out of the reach where I'm not wanted. I mean, another alternative is I can try going to Morthal. I could actually walk the whole way as well. I don't want to do that, but the situation's making it real tough. So even though like I didn't sign up for all this, it's this is still turning out really fun because I feel like this is more like what it would be like to be a criminal. You're not fully in control of, of what you're able to do because sometimes stuff just happens and that's just how it happens. Like there, I, I had everything planned out. And then I found out I was wanted. And I could have just hopped on the stables. I mean, not the stables, but the uh, the carriage and taken my trip to um, Winterhold already. I would have been fine. I would have been safe. But I decided to do it second, and then on my way out, I got attacked. And I couldn't do it. I think for now, my best bet is to try and just run my way back to um, the carriage, see if I can just hop on it before somebody attacks me and I die. <laughs> that would actually, just thinking about this like story-wise, that would be a great escape, just you know, run up to the carriage like, hey, just start going and outrun the people that are trying to pursue me. And the carriage guy just wants his money, so he's like, well, okay. Yeah, I'm going to try to do that. Um, so I need to turn left, cross this water. And just go straight for the carriage. And if I run into people... Some of my skeleton to distract them while I continue running to the carriage. I don't want any problems right now, so y'all can just stay over there with your swords drawn. Because I'm not ready yet. I'm not strong enough. I already know. Alright, now it's just a straight shot to, to the farm. I need to keep my armor up before I get locked into combat. I feel like there should be a rope right here, but there's not. Uh, I think the road is a little bit more west of me if I go up this hill. 
Yeah, I think I can get out this way. I kind of hate that I have to micromanage that for now. There's a mic caught smart cast that makes it so I don't have to do that. But I don't have it installed right now. I'm gonna deal with just having more high keys, please. I'm just gonna sprint my way over here, hop in the carriage, hurry up and ask me where I want to go. Need a ride? Yes. Where do you want to go? Take me straight to Winter Hall, please. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Get up there. Alright, I feel a lot more comfortable now, because this definitely is not the reach. And I'll be able to get proper mage gear from the college. And you'd have me do what? Join the college and prance about casting spells all day? Don't just walk away from me. Where do you think you're going? To the inn for a drink, of course. Where else could I even go in this god's forsaken town? And what? You think that'll solve all your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. I always like their dialogue, because this town really is kind of barren. Oh, let's hope I can pass the test to get in. Cross the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Mysteries of Aetherius, because I actually do alteration this time. Ah, the Immortal Plane. It is said to be the source of all magic. This is a noble goal, indeed. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. No, I'm afraid I don't know anything I always try that. I've never, I've never succeeded at that persuasion check. Excellent. The Mage Light spell is useful to any mage, not just those specializing in alteration. Can you cast one on the seal on the ground? I might actually have that spell. I'm gonna say I don't know it. No? Well, if you think you're capable of it... No, I think I have Candlelight, not Mage Light. 30 gold. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards around Skyrim. They also sell spells. Here you are. Now I'm anxious to see you cast it. Nope, I didn't have maze light. It's an advanced. Oh fuck! It's an advanced spell, and they made it cost a lot of magicka, and I actually can't cast it. Just great. So what? What that means is I need to either level up, or I need to find some gear that makes it cost less. Or I need to brew a potion that gives me fortify magicka. Winter holds glory days may lie behind it. Because I don't have enough. So I guess I better start picking up more alchemy ingredients then. Let's see if this is open. Maybe I can find a potion or something that can 
Give me that little push that I need. You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. Working on it. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Man, she looks hideous. I'm used to her looking a lot better with a lot of mods. She looks really bad right now. So that's just a restore magica. That doesn't do what I need. Nope. There is nothing here to help me. Until next time. Why'd you have to choose a freaking fundamental spell? The other thing, um, there's one more option. Sorry, it's not fundamental, it's advanced. This is fundamental, this is advanced. So if I get five more levels in alteration, I can make those advanced spells cheaper. I should be able to cast it then. And that seems like the easiest thing to do, so... I guess in the meantime, I will see if I can find any quests. I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. Hey, the arrow's here. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This... This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. Just say the word if you need a drink or something to eat. I don't remember I think her. I got a clean mug around here somewhere. I'm if there's anything you need, just let me know. Oh, uh, you know what? I might not be able to have more than one of those at a time. Mm -hmm. Let me see if maybe the Earl will just What's give me work. What's your business here in Winterhold? Should have known. Not that it matters anymore. No one bothers coming to Winterhold for any other reason. Yeah, I'm I'm looking for work, man. I, I'm not interested in everything else you're talking about. Winterhold has lost much of its history, and with that much of its power, I aim to change that. I've heard rumors of the resting place of the Helm of Winterhold. The very same helm. That Jarl Hansa wore in the first era. Hansa was in line to be High King of Skyrim, you know. Having that might get the ear of the other holds and give me some authority. All right, I'll, I'll get it. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for your return. Come back as soon as you have the helm. And where was that helm at? Iron bind barrel. It's down that way. Man, this is so humiliating. I can't cast Mage Light. So now I'm doing a quest. I don't have to do a quest, but it's just more interesting to do a quest. Now I'm training my alteration. So that I can cast Maze Light. To get into the college, to get a hood, to be a functional mage character. Because it's not working without a hood. Alright, I guess I will stop here. Um, catch you again next time.